fire around the world. We're coming back to see how this day is very important and uh, what's the significance of this day to us, especially where we come live this afternoon from, you know, uh, West Africa, uh, you understand, and Central Africa, if I may say. <laughs> Yeah, the two of them are the same, you know, our neighbors just by here. And again, Central Africa, it's a day that is very, you know, important to us Cameroonians and other neighboring countries. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board the program in the heart of the city. We're glad to be here again as far as the program is concerned, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, exactly 36 minutes after 3 p.m. Uh, 2 p.m. here in the studios of NG Television. We're glad to welcome you all this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of, you know, uh, every other televiewers out there we wouldn't see, please, you just stay pulled and, of course, enjoy this, you know, one hour with us here in the studios of NG Television. Uh, we want to recover for better, you understand, and uh, for an equitable and sustainable world. Talking about a sustainable world, what does that mean? Uh, everyone has to put hand on deck for us to make it work. And so for us to achieve a sustainable world is an indication that we need a world that is free of violence. We need a peaceful world. And for this to be attained, uh, the UN, the United Nations, is calling on everyone, each person in the globe to observe at least for one day this is very serious very important uh, it, it's not like forever yeah it's pretty difficult now understand world powers and the UN saying at least for 24 hours that's one day we all should observe you know um, that's uh, the call to peace if I'm a C yeah by uh, upholding the virtues of non-violence and talking about non-violence and ceasefire is an indication that hate speech and so on on and offline if i may say must be dealt with at least even for 24 hours that's an indication that we all just need to observe a minute of you know non-violence by thinking good about somebody thinking good about the world thinking good about the people around you that's an indication that when you think about the people around you you're equally thinking about the world in the heart of the city ladies and gentlemen that's where we are this afternoon and mind you i started with the theme this afternoon for this uh 21st uh 2021 edition of you know the world peace day we go come more to talk about that while our technician is getting everything set for us this afternoon talking about you know the international day uh for peace is an indication that we are equally talking about uh, uh that's uh, the living together good peace and living together that's it, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, what's living together all about? Maybe we we'll try to find out before we introduce the girls to you all while our technician is ensuring that we have nothing but the very best this afternoon. Living together in peace is all about accepting differences and uh, having the ability to listen to others, to recognize, respect, and appreciate others as well as living in peace a peaceful and united way this is what we're talking about living together is to be able to accept the differences of everyone those around and make the best out of it ladies and gentlemen and so together in peace as a means of regular mobilizing the efforts of you know international communities and of course local communities and even you know friends and neighbors together we all do what we talk peace we dream peace we speak peace we live peace from the zen so that's it there ladies and gentlemen it's all about you know uh, world peace and solidarity and i'm going to add their harmony uh, from the zen as we talk about the world peace day today ladies and gentlemen when we come live as a team i think we all we go you know throw up maybe or pop up in the air one word to every individual out there as far as this day is concerned especially to those of us who live in central africa where we come live right now and those living in west africa is not the best equally yeah and of course north africa as well uh 
Take this day, the 21st of, you know, September 2021 to make a change, to make a difference from, you know, previous celebrations. And talking about that, we kill hate speech on and off lines. Uh, we try to, you know, endure one another in terms of behaviors, in terms of every other thing. Yeah, but again, it doesn't mean in as much as we endure, we, do, we, 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 we try to play the hero. No, when it's time to correct, we correct. When it's time to hit hard, we hit hard. But again... Peace is the essence today and the call to cease fire, living together, that's what we're talking about. Talking about peace, there's no way we can talk about peace without talking about living together. And it's an indication that harmony and of course uh, solidarity, we spread it all over the globe this day. If we said, ladies and gentlemen, maybe we go over to say hi to the girls, I don't know if production room. It said that this afternoon, if production room is not set there, mind you, wherever you're connected this afternoon, uh, all over Cameroon, all over the West region, and so on, we want to say good afternoon. Thank you for being with us this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Of course, it's happy Tuesday from this end. Happy everything from this end. And of course, just stay optimistic and of course, stay positive. But again, Susan, this opportunity offered by the International you know, Peace Day today. Uh, I think we all put up one prayer to God as far as, you know, our culture is concerned that those coming from you know this the the let me just say Africa in miniature you know Africa in miniature when we talk about that we are referring to Cameroon one prayer in the air uh, make a wish to God before you know it your wish comes true and so before the day runs out dear televiewers maybe Miss B and you all over there we go under the moon if you have moon somewhere under the sky if you still have stars somewhere yeah just when, you know, dusk, I would prefer dusk, that brief period between, you know, uh, sunset and, you know, complete, you know, darkness, if I'm going to say. Use that period. Stay under the sky. Look up, you know, to the one that is invisible, like what I'm doing right now. Make a wish to God, especially those living in, you know, uh, Africa in miniature. They mean me green, red, yellow this time around. <laughs> we need that. And so every Cameroonian, we make a wish to God. And before you know it, uh, he grants, you know, our diverse wishes. So let's seize this opportunity and see how we can, you know, pray for our nation. Pray for those, you know, areas that really affected the most. It's the World Peace Day we're talking about from the Zen Miracle. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, Miss B was on and on forgetting that Miracle. Thank, Thank you, production, you. for bringing us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miracle, happy Tuesday. Thank you very much, Miss B. Happy Tuesday to you. Thank you. Too. Thank you. Happy Tuesday to you, Santia. Thank you. Sancia. And uh, good afternoon to all those who are just joining us this afternoon. Uh, Miss B, you started there with peace, and I cannot. But talk about peace. Thank as well. you so much. It's absolutely right for us to talk about it today, given that it's uh, it, we are at the 40th uh, edition of uh, Peace Celebration, World Peace Day. And I just wanted to say that it shouldn't be like only on the day proper, Good. but we should portray peace on a daily. And the peace transcends from the spiritual. Yes, I think I started spiritual things yesterday. And today I would still want to talk. Will. Yes, Miss B. <laughs> I'm feeling very spiritual Thank you. since Monday. And uh, I think that that same peace should equally animate us on a day. day. Not only the peace that the world gives, but the peace that comes from on high. Yesterday was living water. Today is peace. And I pray that every one of us, no matter how tough it is, Miss B, you know some people are very rich. Good. We see them rich, fine, but in a peace they don't have. Good. So, and that's something you can buy in the market. It's very difficult. But at the same time, we can find it if we choose to. Because sometimes it's a matter of choice too. Just imagine the acts you, you pose on a daily, they can give you unrest. And that's where your peace is smashed. So I just want to talk to someone who has lost their peace in this afternoon. That no matter what is going on around you, you can always make your world a paradise in your mind. It just starts from the mind and it moves progressively to your whole being. And it's equally a mindset, like I said earlier, so in this week. Because just imagine that you wake up in the morning because you had a bad dream at night. Mm. You decide that that bad dream should mar your day. 
it now because you you wake up from bed someone reads you you're just moody you don't want to talk very much with the person because of that nightmare what does it have to do with all of what you've been going through throughout the night that's the question now the other thing that i want to say is that about peace peace is something that given that we can buy like i said we can buy in the market it's something that comes but if you lose yours then it's your problem because some people lose theirs they give it away how ask me how is it true your actions too if you choose to be someone who when you see people happy you're not happy it can make you to lose your your peace so that's what i would want to share more i would want to throw more light on this afternoon is that if when you see sometimes you can equally learn peace by letting peace contaminate your speech thank you if you're coming from a context where it's not peaceful it's nobody's fault but now if you notice that others around you are peaceful learn to go closer to them and learn how mm. to how they and got there find peace exactly home. how did they get to this stage if they are peaceful then they will tell you how they got there and you too in turn would be peaceful and you take it back to that home that is not peaceful and make it peaceful those are some of the secrets that we can share on a daily rather don't see people who are extremely peaceful and it hurts you when it hurts you your own peace will be rotten peace i can i can say that without mixing my words miss b because nature gives it back to us yes when you when you see people smile and it hurts you there is a problem with you if when you see people joyous and it hurts you there is a problem with you that's a spirit that is haunting you so you need to fight that spirit and go closer to these people who are happy and learn to be happy with them then another thing is share in the peace of others for example your neighbor's kid has just had an exam you know a public exam is be instead of sitting and making a so finally people, he made it mm, so so all those the noises like that, that they used to make here this child could make it no go closer and just say congratulations to that child then you come back home i bet you miss b yours is on the way when you do that yours is if you're doing it with a sincere because some people do that with hypocrisy too yes you go and you are like oh congratulations that just look at my countenance you understand <laughs> congratulations this child finally made it that's not a smile at all that's not genuine no one be i even prefer that you just stay in your corner don't even don't go even there. go there yes you must not go there nobody will put a gun on your head just be quiet and tell god that i just want to be true to myself i don't want to go and infest their peace let me be true to myself and god will see your heart and say yes this is sincerity so this be i want to just say peace to everybody out there peace especially to those who are in crisis touch zones christ touch zones miss be a lot of crises in these zones in the far north the northwest southwest the east peace to on on, on to all of you and equally to the internally displaced persons peace thank you not really you. thank you you just dropped it there on those who were thinking on this afternoon a word for them thank you mariko be very important ladies and gentlemen permit us you know really talk on this today because uh you just landed on the point of you know your conclusion they're talking about try to find peace even in others you know most often i realize i don't know if i'm correct uh, when you are not at peace with yourself you understand uh you transfer it Exactly. So what is happening most of is become people are disgruntled with what they have, mm -hmm. what is happening around them, or just like you talk about, you know, peaceless environment, mm -hmm. peaceless home and so on, exactly. and they transfer it. But sometimes if we try to go closer to those who not everybody can actually live uh, in peace forever, but if you choose to, you will. Absolutely. If you choose to, you will, because you can still choose to, and you know, peacelessness will come pursuing your home, mm -hmm. even from those who are very, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, problematic and so on but again when you choose to I tell you what the true path of peace is go make it possible and so uh, I think uh, it's very important there because my point this afternoon to add to what you have just said there was the fact that those who are not at peace with themselves most often transfer it to the environments transfer it to those who are around them and that is why we have you know uh what powers if i'm music talking on you know ceasefire today mm. you see border conflicts and so on internal conflicts and so on but again let's see this opportunity offered by a day like this to be able to you know 
think of, you know, the havocs. Mm. You understand? The the, the, the the ugly things created already and see how we can make the best out of it. And that will rather be possible if and if only we decide to. And so somebody has to make a decision today, wherever you are, you're watching us, try to make a decision. And talking about, you know, peace for the world, peace for everyone, mm, it has to start with us. If you don't start it with yourself to try to be at peace with yourself, you can transfer it to another person. Talk less of your environment, ladies and gentlemen. And so we celebrate peace today by standing up against acts of uh, hate that's online and offline. And again, by spreading compassion, kindness and hope in the face of the pandemic, in the face of what is happening presently in the country, in the face of the COVID-19, in the face of, you know, border conflict, in the face of terrorist attacks and so on, we just need to show compassion, kindness. And it begins with your environment, the persons around you, your home, and that's how it spreads to the community. I don't know if I'm correct, Mariko. And when it spreads to the community, it spreads to the entire nation. Thank you so much, Mariko. We turn over to Binda. It's a call a happy Tuesday, Binda. And we're glad for this day today. I don't know if you're glad as well. The 21st of September. Of course, Miss, you could have seen it. Thank you. I could have seen my call. Thank you. So it was a very particular day because I slept so much. It was every day that I sleep. I sleep so well. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm fan of sleep. <laughs> it's showing in <laughs> And uh, today was a very particular day, very special one. And talking about peace, Miss uh, D, is something that so many people have decided to take it away from other persons. I'll take an example of parents that said to take away from their children. Mm -hmm. Like parents who like to compare their children with others. <laughs> you decide that this child is not going to have peace in his house. Because the child is maybe not succeeding, succeeding in school, the child is not intelligent, maybe he has uh, mates in the quarter there that are, are succeeding and having great things for themselves. Mm -hmm. And you'll be like, no, look at you. You're just a useless uh, child. That this is my own punishment. You begin to call your own child as a punishment to you. Most parents haven't taken time to learn some of their children, to know, to know the kids, to know which one is more intelligent than the other, and which one has a defensive memory or not, and which one can really make it in school. The always think that is maybe because you're a dog, that means they make really help for the children. You will notice some children tend to hide under the shoe of something, nobody to listen to them, and they go about talking about doing a number of things. It makes me remember this morning in another platform where uh, Francie was talking about drugs. The fact that children uh, take drugs. I will talk about some of the signs that the people use uh, to, to know that they have drugs. If you have a child that is taking drugs, there are signs that you, your parents don't know. But most of these children, I believe that they get into this drug abuse because of the things that they go through in their home. Thank you. If it's that you go through, if it's that you have a parent who doesn't appreciate anything that you do, it will obviously kill your morale and you find something like a comfort zone where you want to get comfort and stay there. I'm not trying to justify the actions, but it's because they find a solution. Mm -hmm. Even if talking about you not trying to justify their actions, Bina, at, I think I'm trying to understand where you're heading to this afternoon. Most of them, you know, it begins from the home. It begins from the home. And the parents too, sometimes, the role you play in the life of a child, that's what is transmitted to the society. Exactly. And when the child is not at peace with his or herself, the child transmits it to the society. And before you know it, we start carrying heavy weapons. I don't want to call names here. Exactly. We know those things. It could be in, in, in terms of matches, in terms of, you know, I'm not you know, I don't really want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? The child, so please, I think we go back to the home. It's very yes, important. We go back to Talking the home. about peace, we go back to the home. It's very important. If the home doesn't have peace, you don't expect them to transmit the to the kids. The will not have. The community will not obviously okay. have peace. Thank you, Binda. Imagine a community, a neighborhood with four homes and everybody is fighting. How is the neighborhood going to be like? You know, those that neighborhood, everybody, there will not be peace. Everybody wants to support, like, this is my child, you're not supposed to go this way. Always in chaos. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take another scenario where four homes in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and it's always peaceful. How is the environment? It's always very simple. And you will notice that there's hardly any problem there because so, everybody uh, supports each other. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what used to happen. You see, there are so many things that, when I will talk about peace, peace, talking about terrorists, people get to carry weapons and things like It starts from the home. Insofar as education has failed in the home, 
they will notice that this is happening. Parents might think that I give the best education to their children. I don't think that the child has a very good it's true some children are there's always an exception. There's always, there are always exceptions of children that no matter what you do for them, the the head is so strong and they want to do anything that they want. But that is is very rare. Because as a parent, if you give in the very best for your child, I believe that that child can be able to go places because the child is doing extremely well in whatever that the child is doing. So parents should ensure that parents should ensure that they take up their children to be well. That means they train them up very well. So we don't have situations like this, a drug abuse, having to go through terrorists and all a number of things. Very important point there. Thank you so much, Sontia Bina. It's all about peace today. And uh, we go back to the homes. We go back to the homes. We go, and uh, talking about that, what's that one word you can give to? We know our present context, where we live in. We can't really hide it. We know our environment. What's that one word for all Cameroonians? Well, what I have to say is that they should pray for peace to reign in Cameroon. That's the, the, the one thing that I wanted to pray, that peace should come back to Cameroon. The peace we used to enjoy, that we should pray for it to come back. Because it's only God that grants those things. If they yeah, would ask him sincerely to give us that he's going to give us. It's just that those who are in front, at the forefront of this, at one point in time, we begin to think that don't want these things to stop. It's what we think. But we pray that our prayers that will be lifted up to the Most High. Obviously, He will fruit and that we will have peace. Thank you so much, Suntia Bina. And what's that one wish we offering today? Let's just say right now we're under the sky. One wish for the nation, the people. Uh, the one wish I wish is that Cameroon be uh, the way it used to be, Miss V. I wouldn't wish for anything more. You know, you could be too late to travel to go to Norway and South. It's very complicated. You need to know the days, you need to do this, and, you need to, and the transport is really very hard. So we, we just want Cameroon to be the way it used to be. That's that the culture we had before, that peace culture, how I wish, you know, we have it again. That's been this hard cry. Uh, we go turn over to Mariko. But mind you, ladies and gentlemen, today it's however aimed at, you know, upholding the desires to live and act together, uniting difference and, uh, or let's say, uniting differences and diversity in order to build a sustainable world of peace, solidarity, harmony, kindness all over Mariko. Uh, before we go into the program proper this afternoon, was that one wish for Cameroon and her people? Miss B, I will, my wish, I would stand like Cynthia did, but I will add just the plus that I will not want that same Cameroon of before because that form of peace looked fake. Okay. So I would prefer that the, the peace that is coming right now should be definite. That is, we shouldn't still come back again to stories like oh we were jilted, oh we were fooled and all of that so my wish my favorite wish is that northwest and southwest everyone should go about their activities without any fear no gunshots anymore and we have kids who have been used to these gunshots and they've been traumatized in this some people have even passed out so i just want that all of this should stop but for an eternity Thank you so much and uh, I tell you what, when you make a wish up to God with a sincere heart, he's definitely listening to you, listening to Binda, listening to everyone. And so we transmit the same spirit to everyone watching us right now. Let's make a wish to God. We're talking about the International Peace Day today, 21st uh, of September. Let's, you know, make a wish to God. And before you know it, you see it happening. As far as Miss B or Lady B is concerned this afternoon, I need to know those moments where you can walk at 3 a.m. you're fine. You can walk at 12 midnight, you are secured. You get home safe. You can walk. I mean, there were those moments. Exactly. I, I hope I'm correct. Exactly. Those moments where you can go back home we you know, entertaining or encouraging, you know, late nights. Okay. Yeah, but at least there were those moments that you can have, you know, an emergency. And you see yourself working with some confidence in the nation at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Good. I remember when I was preparing for the advanced level. Mm. I used to read somewhere far from home, 2 a.m., and uh, you hear it's time. I think there was an event that had to happen in the hall, and they would tell us go back home. Uh, it's rather unfortunate you cannot sleep in the hall today because we used to read so many. And then in my own area, I was alone. I had nobody to walk with me. At 2 a.m., this is this is the same boy today, not another boy. I will walk back home into 
the quarters you understand the interiors are now you see we need back those moments and so my wish today as far as we celebrate the world peace day we need those moments we can work freely in the nation and you see yourself secure even at 2 a.m exactly. all right thank you so much binda thank you mariko thank you dear televiewers we stay with the world peace day today before this day runs out tell god we need something you are just seize this opportunity talking about that you are in the program in the heart of the city we hit three minutes after 3 p.m right now i'm we asking this afternoon why do most Christians often sleep during preaching time in church? We're coming to talk about something else today towards the end of the program. Uh, but permit us, you know, we we'll talk business, we we'll talk kitchen, we we'll talk health, and then the girls will come back for us to, you know, try to contribute in this phenomenon. You know, everybody has been a victim to it. Even you, the pastor, seriously, even the pastor too has been a victim when others are preaching. <laughs> Pastor, did you blink your eyes? I mean, yeah, but again, how do we fight it out? You know, so yesterday we talked on, you know, some of the reasons why do, you know, we try to bring it, but how do we fight it out? We're okay, going to talk on that this afternoon, but again, I think I know the black plums. Right. I think still with black plums. <laughs> black plums, <laughs> I like the appellation because yesterday I had a very big problem getting a name for Thank it. you. Yes, I think the black plums will surely go because this version doesn't have any two colors than just the black Thank it's you. unique it's black but the difference is that it's quite small and the seeds serve a lot in fact we'll have time to come back to Thank you. Uh, you know basic ideas. ideas but for now we'll talk about the cultivation of this black fruit or black plums all right now how do you cultivate it truly it's not somebody's business as per se in fact it's not something that people really run after too much like plums like the safu mm -hmm. that we talk about yes but this can this you would find it there are some people who just get their farms as they get farms maybe they buy farms or the own pieces of land and on that land they find this black fruit it's like a gift from god honestly but you can as well grow it good yes you can as well grow it because generally you find it in orchards you find it in forest wild forest find it there and for you to just wake up one morning and say i will groom this it needs it takes a lot it takes a lot you need to be someone who has an orchard already of different types of fruits and you will surely want to try many things so this goes through with seeds it goes through with seeds as well and at the same time the same tree that you get your this same fruit from can serve you as firewood good but for now We'll talk about the fruit, the cultivation, in fact, the harvesting and all of that. Generally, the tree is quite tall. I don't want to go into when it was born and all of that because that's a whole long story behind it. It's a very tall tree. It's almost like baobab tree. Good. Very tall. Produces small, small black fruits like this. Really tiny. And uh, generally, it just grows from time to time. It has its seasonal though because like we are saying yesterday, yesterday, Miss B, you said you bought the one for 50 mm -hmm. francs and you were just looking because at I was the served with the paper. Mm, imagine. On paper. This is not, not the plastic. <laughs> that wasn't the season. In fact, this isn't the season. So, it, just like any other fruit, it also has its own season where it's in abundance. So, this is not the season at all. But for those who want to eat it, those who like it, like Miss B, you can still look for it and you'll find it. But don't expect to buy it at cheap prices. Now, Talking about the cultivation, it's a wild fruit in the forest, like I said before. You'll find it, it'll come out like, generally it'll come out from, it, it grows from step to step. Like after it's grown, this is something you have to really be patient with. If you don't have any other fruit that will be keeping you busy, then you might get too impatient if you are someone who wants to deal with this uniquely. Now, if you want to go into this, you need to go meet those people who groom seeds, seedlings especially trees like they do pears, seedlings of pear, seedlings of every other fruit like plums too. So you go meet them. Here in Bafusam, where you can find them easily is this around Mashebi on the way when you're climbing up that you don't get into the market. They are generally by the roads. Yes, they, they are seated there. And they have their small orchards. The places really look very cozy and calm because it's really natural. And they've groomed it in small sachets, sacks, and there you can 
have a sum you can share you can buy it for say as from 500 francs upwards okay. go there yes if you want to go into that business go there and get one then get do a lot of research before going to get them because sometimes you can go and they sell you something else that is not that fruit particularly so you should know what you're going to look for now after you had that go into your farm and make sure where you're planting it it's not going to affect anything around let me take an example if you take this and you want to plant it say in your own home in your surrounding and your surrounding is be as a fence it can the roots in the long run can zig into your fence that's the root of your, your fence and break down the fence. Down. Yes. so that's the reason why such fruit are advised to be done far away from home if they should be around your home then it should be a home that has a lot of space Good. don't bring it too close to your fence and then keep watering watering and watering if you have um, manure don't hesitate to pour manure around it so that it grows well nurture it like any other fruit and then after a while you see it flourish you come out of the sack because generally you put it in the soil with the sack but when it's already very big you tear tear the sack out and you have to remove that sack to permit it to to really spread its uh, branches it takes a while it can go like a year and more for you to see it really give you something reasonable so don't be too hasty like i said before look for an activity aside that so that you cannot you will not feel too impatient when you're doing this now after that you'd see your fruits start grooming they start grooming from the beginning they, they come out like green that's their green in color if they does they gradually get mature and change mm, color and is black. yes and they turn okay. black so you can go shake the tree when it's time for harvest you can shake if you have, if you have strength you shake or you use tree uh, sticks to, to, cut. to cut or you climb and you harvest thank you so much mariko you're not talking oh, about i'm um, picking one or two things you understand mm. because i've never really seen the tree mm. yeah no the fruit even uh, apart from the fact that you buy to eat mm -hmm. how it's raw and even cooked or even the tree i've never okay. Really okay. seen it and it's so on. rare honestly and it's not so good yes it's not so it's not easy for you to really find you can even be passing by the tree but you never know, know. yes if someone doesn't tell you thank you hardly know thank you so much so ladies and gentlemen i never knew the the face of all you know uh, the face of all green in nature before turning black Right. As I, you know, I know most of them people will say uh, everything when it's green is green, not all. And some that can be red. And uh, before you know it, it will to, to announce to you that it's matured and you know ripe for eating, it becomes yellow. Absolutely. Or orange. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Mariko, for You're that welcome. beautiful discovery yeah. in terms of cultivation of black plums. I'll stay with black plums. <laughs> Isn't there anything to add there? No. Thank you, Binda. Uh, without any transition, we just go straight uh, into taking you know the kitchen corner this afternoon. It's all about uh, uh, Bakuko, but this time around, it's a slight difference. Yes, a slight difference in the soup. Today. And so most people yeah. know the kwakuko that is done without ham or okay. that means the great kokoyams and they just tie the leaves and then they cook. And most people here, yeah, when they do the kwakuko, they tie in plastic. Yeah, they tie in very big bundles. It's very healthy. Big, big bundles. As what we saw yesterday, you get your kokoyams, you grate. There yeah, in the West we mostly have the white kokoyam. It's difficult to have the bread. Bread is yeah, it's difficult. difficult. It's there, but it's rare. Yeah, and most people have the white, as we have the, the particular one. Most people, what they do is that they, they add uh, maniko to it. The hair is from the little color that we maniko that it creates that it, it gives it, it, it makes it too hard you know, to swap, as you see, as it's common, commonly called. So you braid your the yam, then you mix the palm oil before the time plastic. I want to mix the palm oil and show that you add salt to it. Too. Mm. That you should be not be too cold in the mm. mouth. Yes, that's so before you tie inside, be it inside the plastic or inside the base you want to do, you try there, you cook. 
this thing takes a long time. It can take like four hours to cook. Four cocoa can take like four hours to cook. It takes a very long time for you to cook. It takes uh, because if you don't cook well, we have, if it's not well cooked, it will break the fat. It will scratch you very well. So you need to be very, very careful when doing it. It will scratch your throat. You see some people will eat that thing, you will not eat the game because of the scratching nature of the cocoa yam. Then when you do that, now our interest this afternoon is the soup. Mm. Yesterday we did the soup with boiled granite or granite that you soak in water, you peel, you go grind to make what is commonly called soft blanche and some people add the uh, bitter leaves, bitter herbs to it to make it just, just to spice it up to spice the soup. This afternoon I like us to do the fried granite, the way they do with the fried granite. With the fried granite the way you do it, they add okra to it and they add tomato. That means you get the granite to go and fry. Then you fry your ginger and your garlic uh, differently. Then you add the chopped tomatoes, then you add the pepper. You add, you make it with it. That means you put your or your oil, you put onions, you put tomatoes, allow it to cook. Then you put granite, you put your spices. You know, the way you do granite after soup. you fry the granite, yes, after you fry the granite, the way you do granite soup, that's how this one is particularly done. Granite okay. soup with. And then the last thing that you add there is okra. You see, if you look at this image, this is it, guys. You see that okra is already added to it. It's, it's oh, yes, yes, this is. Exactly, you see is good. the difference is very clear. You notice that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that the, between the white soup we did yesterday and this one, this one is brown. The other one yesterday was white, completely white. So you see that this one, okra is added to it. People use make this with fish. People love this with bunga or dry fish. It's really good. Oh, 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 meat. I see taste for that. Meat, if it's for me, maybe dry meat it gives it a different taste. Okay. Thank you, Binda. I must, uh, you know, I must admit that I personally got love for this. I can eat, let me see, how many, you know, bowls was that bowls of, you know, the quacks, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe six. Eh? <laughs> anyway, we'll see. Maybe seven, even. Why not ten? <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Binda. I think this is so yummy, Mariko. No, Miss P, I told you yesterday I was waiting for today. Yeah, it's mm, yummy. For the meal. So, it's good. It's, it's good, good it's and good. it's already making Miss B feeling, you know, just so hungry right now. Mm. Oh, come on. This thing is good, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you do it well. It takes exactly the way Bina did it. Mm -hmm. The only thing is to peel this cocoyam and grate. It's easy to grate, and it takes more than four hours to cook. Mm -hmm. Just take it to the granny meal. Just it's simple. Just take it to the meal. For okay. those who are not using, you can easily grind this thing, you know. I started doing it from small. I'm ready. Time. Time. Mm -hmm. That's another thing to time. Mm -hmm. Time, you know. Yeah, because to me, you know, it's like people. Yes. Yes. Most people say it's difficult to cook, but I see it easy. Yeah, so you, you know, yeah. for me, you know why? Because the time is the sweetest process. <laughs> for your time, the equal. <laughs> All right, thank you, Binda. <laughs> Miss um, B saying that the time is the sweetest process. Somebody says, I don't want to catch that particular, you know, <laughs> process. Miss B, I think it's, it's kids who don't like that moment. Thank you. <laughs> Especially those who have already come back and they are looking for what to eat and they All see right. you, their mother still time. It's a, a whole lot of horror. <laughs> Thank you so much, Binda. Ladies and gentlemen, get that one. Even though it's time consuming, we admit, but again, for the weekend. You can as well go with it and before you know you make a very beautiful meal for the family we want to talk health but before we do that uh i think while we get inside there uh what's that one solution i'll continue with you maricon what's that one you know solution if i may say or word to be able to help you know is it the christians is it the church is it the pastor but again it's to us every one of us if you realize that you're in church and when it's preaching time your eyes are coming there's something you ought to do miss <coughs> b you can stand up you can stand up thank yes, you you can just stand up and any other person around you might be looking at you like this that's what i was about saying that you can stand up and just pull the attention of everyone now it's all yeah. focusing on the what pastor. i know is that some people might just stand up too you know there are people in church <laughs> In church, we always behave like we're following the crowd. <laughs> like you just see your neighbor stand up, you too, you just stand. Good. And it's when you notice that maybe ahead of you there's nobody standing there, you realize that there's a problem, then you sit down. Good. But I think the, the thing, the best thing is be is that instead of calling the attention of everybody, you can just move out quietly. 
yes politely go stand outside so that some air can hit you and then you can come back again and i think you'll be different and then the second thing is that get busy right okay yes just put a pen and a, a, a booklet in your back when you get to church start writing some people they don't necessarily sleep because they've slept off but it's because they are not in activity once they are not in activity their body is not in activity good they can start feeling dizzy so you just get busy pick up a booklet put in your back jot down everything the uh, the, the preacher is saying just jot down even if you, you're telling yourself maybe this thing will not help me just write that writing will help you get busy and mm. write the quotations take the quotations if you don't have a, a diary because some churches have diaries that will permit them to know what readings are for today and so on and so forth so if you don't have one this is even the moment for you to write look at the walls of the church because in some churches when you get into mm. church miss video the readings are already pasted for those who are not numerical others who are numerical they have screens mm. uh, the screens that are on the wall and they have uh, the readings of the day there so you write down everything and then another thing is that preachers too should try to make this thing interesting <laughs> truly okay. some people just talk as if they are in their family in fact it's a family meeting you talk from start to end without knowing how people are feeling in the crowd that is just try to look at their their eyes you know sometimes our countenance speaks loads yes when you look at the crowd just look at the first people in front of you as a preacher you are in front of them you are the pulpit look at them look at their countenance if you're not doing it right it's easy to know because body gestures speak it's either they are you exactly or, or someone has just broken themselves like this on a chair and as they've broken themselves it's a message it means that they are overwhelmed by what you're saying meanwhile there's another person in the other side who is even saying amen for what they've not even asked for amen everything they're like amen amen <laughs> just to fight it gets to part time. <laughs> exactly that's to fight sleep two at times and then make it too participative like i said yesterday try to talk with the, with the people make sure that you're talking you're not talking to a wall you're talking to humans so make them to know that you want to know them like there are some people who do, in their preachings they'll do questionnaires the question they yeah, ask like who did this yesterday and you see someone put up their hand and you'll be like okay madam what was that thing you did and they stand up to talk i bet you some of some sessions like that can help others who are sleeping who are sleeping to will get be left yeah so that the, is danger the last but not the least miss b i i remember in those days when i was in secondary school our chaplain used to be like when he's in church and he's preaching since he knows all of you by name if you're sleeping he calls you by name just like that it disgraces you somehow that it's the intention behind it is not to disgrace you but it's just to make others to know around you that yes. you are not attentive yes so he calls your attention and he in just passively in the preaching you'll be like yes sometimes uh, like the the man who was sleeping in the bible who is that man that, that slept and fell off on the window when jesus was preaching so he uses those words when he's using it he's called, he's taking it somewhere because he has seen someone who is sleeping and you'll be like this is how some people sleep and forget and they be heaven because they've been sleeping and they sleep off and while everybody wakes up to go you was just trying to sleep and bet you must be become very alert thank you so like, much this message can be my message <laughs> thank you you know first day i'm still looking forward to you know meeting with you all again has they got willing we all we try to, you know, uh, talk back to the pastors this time around. How you should make that, uh, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mariko. No, you can stand up. You know how to stand up. Don't just stand up anyhow. Jot. You can jot, and so on. there are lots of things you can go. Just go out when you see that, you know. Uh, you realize that the sleep is coming. Just stand up, walk out, come back. You understand? But again, preachers very important. Make this thing interesting. You know, that's what Mariko said. <laughs> All right, Binda. <laughs> how do we fight? You know, uh, this phenomenon. You know, most of them when it's preaching time. Is it because they? danced so much you know singing and dancing preaching time they are all tired or what it's not always the case miss b you see that some people get tired of singing and dancing because some people are just uh when they feel comfortable they just sleep sleep it's true my paul talked about the standing up you know i have gone to some churches when, when a man of god is preaching people stand that means when he get to a particular place people stand 
a different respect to yes you. i understand it's some sort of respect that way make you not to sleep it's my it's like very interesting <laughs> 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 because I, I still don't understand this standing there <laughs> They give it a you will hear them saying yes sir. You know, in that it's kind of serious. in that kind of context, it's difficult for you to sleep. But they do that if the message is entering. Seriously, the message you know, you'll be standing and you're standing for what? Not everybody that understands the message must be. If you notice very then well, then they yes sir. You, they, they, they say, uh, you say something say yes. You know, some people even go to the point of repeating what they are saying. You know, they are repeating. Well, they are what they are preaching because I've had to uh, have it. Yeah, the exactly. man is saying, I'm repeating the, the message crowd over and over. Yes, yes, yes sir, yes sir. This is so I was asking myself that. What is happening that this yes sir? He has not said anything new. It's the same thing that he has been saying since that he's still saying it today. So I think standing up too is one of the good things to do. If you can work out then it'll be good. Then if you know that you always feel sleepy or uh, cozy sometimes the best thing is just to take water when you are going to church. Okay. You take water so that you drink. There's this man I used to sit next to me. I told him I was gonna say go out and wash your face. No. <laughs> you know, with all the makeup and everything that like you put on your face is very so very don't sleep. Always carry water to church. Think what I you know that in fact there's no what I think juice. You know, people do go with juice. You drink you are in church. I must say you should chew. People like to take chewing gum when they are going to church. But I it's not always good to chew because people are still around you and it's not always very polite. For those who chew that harsh way, you understand they chew are opening their mouth. <laughs> those are you got people that have a problem. If you can get chewing gum I know that you will chew or sweets. Or sweets uh, that you will take during the preaching period, then I think it will help you to dry away sleep from your eyes. But it's important to have something, something that you're fidgeting around with, or something that's in your mouth, so that it occupies you sometimes. Then you know that you can't hold it again. Then better move out, even if you miss the preaching. Because when you sleep, you know sleep contaminates. When you start sleeping, you just spread it. The next neighbor, the every people, the people start yawning. So please, if you know that you will you sleep, better go out. Better go out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Binda. You know, we're coming to talk on the pastor. So this is not only for the Christians, so, but again, there's a problem. Which, uh, I'm still boiling. Uh, what most of we realize the people who sleep, they don't have anything in front of them. No Bible, no. Yes, they even came to church with a Bible. Just, just imagine. <laughs> if yes. you're in church, so please go along. Beg your neighbor's Bible. Bible neighbor is using it. It's not all the time that neighbors use it. If you see somebody has dropped in the, the Bible. That dress, that, that piece is wearing, can even be more expensive than the Bible. Of course, people don't have Bible. Most people. Is it serious? They have the American Bible in their phones. And in most churches, phones are not accepted. Like Please mine. leave phones for other things. Maybe you can be in the farm and you, you're looking for a scripture. You know, so sometimes read it raw as it is. So, you know. So if there's a possibility, you see that there's somebody next to you that's not using the phone, you can possibly take the phone and read it. Maybe some scriptures will help you to do your You possible. can be reading with the phone and the WhatsApp message enters. <laughs> no, when you are using your your Bible, Miss I don't think that you need internet connection. Except Thank that you so much. Do need. Direct messages to come. come. Yes, uh, hi, baby. Where are you? <laughs> Church. <laughs> The church has ended. <laughs> you know, these are the come. Seriously, I, I think I agree with all the pastors. There are no phones in the church. Mm -hmm. That no time phones. they want to concentrate on the brothers. Why, hi, baby is coming. Do we meet in Aqua? <laughs> these pastors are very It's preferable not to have phones. This is true that people say it's easier for them to carry their phones in their phone, in, in their Bibles in their phone, in, to walk around with. The Bible is so big and all this sort of thing. But that to go and use the one in the. In the the phone better is the you look at your neighbor's bike when he's reading next to you. Thank you so much, Binda. Thank you, Mariko, ladies and gentlemen. I told you this is not over. At first day, we're coming to talk on pastors too. You have a role, not only the Christians. Yeah, we are at least trying to help Christians out there. All those who enter church when it's preaching time, we're sleeping. There's a way out. Let's help ourselves. But again, pastors, let's see what happened on first day. On Friday, we come to a conclusion. Uh, I really wish we could take text messages today. Uh, we asking this afternoon why do most Christians, you know, sleep, often sleep during preaching time in church anyway we'll see about that we're looking forward to talk about that maybe on president we'll take reactions uh 26 minutes gone already we have just a few more minutes to get together here let's see how we can you know really uh, find out what are some of the causes of you know knee pain knee pain sometimes pain until you feel like the knee is swollen the knee is increasing as you can't even kneel you can't run you can't walk you can't you can't what are some of the causes we started it yesterday and we said one of them could be as a result of you know uh wrong feeding when we don't feed well imbalanced feeding 
feeling means be talk that way <laughs> all right but let's leave that aside sometimes it could be as a result of injuries injuries from accidents from falls and so on that can damage you know the 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 the, 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 the knee uh, ligaments and so on and so on bones and so on and then sometimes too, it could be as a result of bruises we obtain on the knees or sometimes on strategic you know uh parts on the leg that will actually affect the knees when we have bruises just imagine around your big toe or around your ankle as well it can definitely or sometimes most often when it's you know especially those first degree bruises and so on affect the knees sometimes when we have torn ligaments we said yesterday when the, the this you know uh, the ligaments are all wear and tear that's over time due to depreciate that's why we need to build them back with calciums and other things good feeding balanced diets so with time as the we are advancing in age also these things come in place you understand when we have that what do we do oh i think uh, i wish we had the images there when we have that what do we do yeah we'll talk about that on friday but most often it's as a result of bruises injuries falls and so on and uh, uh, it's a common complaint that knee pain is a common complaint that affects people of all ages it's not only for a particular group of persons the aging population no even children can suffer this yeah if, when they play rough and fall rough you understand they develop bruises and so on knee pain also may be as a result of an injury such as you know ruptured ligaments or torn cartilage you understand uh, these are medical conditions and so on so and that's why we got to watch in every activity especially those who drive long distances short distances take precautionary measures because once you damage it this is what is carrying your body or the knees <laughs> just imagine the knees are not functional you can't walk now you just go you know they just look for you wheelchair but it's not your portion in jesus name you understand it's not in body's portion and so those are some of the you know uh, conditions that will cause that including you know other things like arthritis gouts and other infections can also lead to knee pains and so on um, most often they can be minor and sometimes they can be major but now this will depend on you know what your medical doctor will tell you so when it gets intense you just need to visit any medical facility for you to be you know uh, screened and then they tell you if it's the minor knee injury or the major one and then you take you know the necessary steps to be able to fight that but again mind you on friday we'll talk on how we can fight knee pains you understand in some cases however your knee may require surgery that's a surgical repairs a surgery if i may say surgical repairs what's that uh what's that operation school that's the word I'm, i was looking for so sometimes in most cases it will go up to that level when there are major you understand so please before it gets to the major if you realize you're already having minor pains around the knees and so on waste no time to visit the nearest medical facility for attention miracle that's it anything to add not at all miss b just to rest the feet good when we've overused Ooh, it good. let's rest the feet too it's important we rest the feet and those who are athletes and so on we talk about your own on friday for athletes in particular you need to watch your feeding and it's a lot of fruits you know anything to add right? you know there are some particular kind of shoes that will involve them uh, all the time thank you girls sting like behind here so when you wear you should change sometimes they wear heels more you wear low shoes good so it helps you with your legs so you don't have to have pains when you want to wear you get few pains around your ankle so some you change your shoes Good. So don't just stay on heels. So oh, no, maybe stay queen. You understand? That's what we say. Stay queen this way. You understand? <laughs> but aside even the men too, these are bowler shoes. Yes, even men. Not only you know, women. you wear sandals all the time, all the time, all the time. I won't fall in time. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. Start playing. Thank you. Because I've had the experience. Good. So you sometimes change and wear the cover shoes. Cover shoes for women, not heels. Go to low. Thank you, Binda, for being part and parcel today. Thank nice you. Nice day. Thank you very much, Miss B. It's been a delight being with you. Happy Tuesday to Thank you. you. I wish you the very best for the end of the day. So have yours as well as Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, all the best. Thanks for being oh, here. Thank you very much, Miss B. It's been wonderful. It's a peaceful day. And I wish all of us a peaceful one. Thank safe. you. And to all those who are tuned, peace to all of us. Peace to all of us. Thank you, Production Room. Let's, you know, show some love. 
some solidarity, some harmony, some kindness, you understand? And let's see how we preach peace today, we live peace today, we dream peace today, we lay down all that we carry that is dangerous, you know, that can act as a danger to mankind. Thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen.